Welcome back guys to another one and today let's have a look at arguably the best single tower air cooler money can buy, the Epic Noctua U12A. At first glance, this might look like any other single tower CPU cooler from Noctua, like the U12S that I have previously reviewed as well, but with only two fans. Well, that statement is nothing further from the truth, because this U12A, it's as good as it gets, and spoiler alert guys, it's just a hair behind the King D15. This, fellow viewers, is the best 120mm single heatseek tower CPU cooler money can buy. It charges a pretty penny at 100 bucks, which is the same price as the dual heatsink monster, the D15, and almost twice the price as the regular U12S for example, but the key selling point here is the 140mm cooling performance in a 120mm package. Thus it also promises it offers 100% RAM compatibility even on IT exports. The U12A comes as you can see in the famous Noctua color combo and design packaging. Anybody would recognize these coolers from a mile away. Opening the box we are greeted by the famous accessory box that has a quick inventory list printed on the front and inside you have all the parts needed to cover any modern socket. The U12A is perfectly secured in its own cardboard cocoon. And here it is, the product to challenge virtually most air coolers out there, an elegant, sleek and compact slayer, the U12A. The heatsink measures 158mm tall, 125mm wide and 58mm thick. Overall it weighs 760 grams and adding those two extra fans brings the total weight to 1.2 kilograms and increases the depth to 112mm. I have counted 50 aluminium fins which are secured into place by 7 6mm thick copper nickel plated heat pipes and let's focus there for a second I mean what other single tower CPU cooler do you know that has 7 heat pipes. We all know how Noctua likes to focus on quality and this array reminds me of the classic Ferrari 312 Formula 1 racing car with those top exhausts. For Petra heads this is a thing of beauty. Then the base is so polished, you can even use it with these as a signaling mirror. The included NFA12 PWM 120mm fans feature all the latest technologies from Noctua and are just beyond overbuilt. They are rated up to 2000 RPM. I mean just look at the size of that rotor for example, which has an additional magnet that supports the self-stabilizing phenomenon. To get even fancier with the technical terms, this is called the SSO2, which stands for Self Stabilizing Oil Pressure Bearing, and it's the second generation, which means it uses metal bearing shells and a new injection molding technique, while the magnet is now placed closer to the rotor axis and thus exerts higher magnetic force to it. This results in even better stabilization, precision and durability. Ok, let's install it. Well, this process is really easy because it's basically the same for any modern Noctua cooler. Just make sure you keep the stock AMD backplate from the motherboard if you are using the AM4 socket. Remove the stock brackets and attach the grey AM4 plastic spacers. Install the new metal bracket, the thermal paste and then bolt everything down. Easy as that. Finally, reattach the fans to the heatsink and then plug them into the motherboard. So as you can see it's true, zero interference all around and especially regarding the RAM area. Thus you can use memory modules with heat spreaders as tall as you want. This being under 160mm tall, it means it will fit most mid-size ATX cases and upwards. So here is my testing rig which I call the Crash Tester V5 since it uses most of my extra parts and I will link everything down below for you guys. Ok, let's see the result. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the U12A is insanely good since it gets so close to the D15. Of course for high overclock scenarios and if I still had my 3700X or if I try in the future the 3950X for example, the D15 will take a bigger lead. 
but for now the U12A excels given its small footprint which basically it's half the size of the D50. Across every test it's neck and neck and it even manages to beat it in the ADA64 for whatever reason. I mean I did this test for like three times in a row with computer restarts in between and I still got these results. So yeah. Since I'm using such an old GPU, I just tried Witcher 3 on medium, but the CPU isn't stressed that much, so we get really good results across the board. Of course noise levels are exactly what you'd expect, perfection. It goes without saying that anything at 100% RPM will be heard, but here everything is around 60 to 80% max RPM range, since nobody keeps the fans at 100% in day-to-day -day usage. Also here is a noise sample during a stress test. So there you have it guys, this is a tricky one to gauge since it makes you wonder why you would need anything bigger than the U12A, especially considering its excellent results. So we know that the U12A from a performance point of view it truly delivers from the holy trinity that we are accustomed from Noctua which consists of cooling capability, noise output and overbuilt quality. Of course this charges a premium price and it's up to you to decide here. But ask yourselves this, do you need anything this potent in such a compact package? If yes, then the U12A is the best thing out there. It really needs that Chromax black treatment to make it even more desirable. Let me know guys if you have this cooler and what temps are you getting with your builds. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Alex out.